Hey everyone, today we're going to improve the look and quality of our 3D prints by running the vertical artifact test to calibrate our filament. As always, let's select our printer, filament, and bed type. We'll then hit calibration, hit more, and hit VFA. I updated my settings to this because my Bamboo Lab machine can apparently print up to 500 millimeters per second, and I know it doesn't need to print slower than 160. I also changed the step to 20 because I didn't want to use too much filament. Let's now slice the parade. We'll now hit print. Alright everyone, now that the print is completed, let's look at the results. If we pick this up, at some points on the walls, especially near the top, we can see very visible vertical defects. We want to find a point, the highest point in fact, where we don't see those defects at all. For me, that point is around here in the middle. Then we can count up these layers until we reach our point. Say I counted up four layers. Next, we multiply by our step. In our case, our step was 20, so we have 80. And then we add our base value, 160 in our case. So our final value is 240. This, of course, may be different for you. All right, now that we found our optimum speed, let's change our settings. Instead of adding the filament preset like we normally do, we're gonna head over to speed, and at outer wall, we're gonna change. I found my parameter to be 240 millimeters per second, and the inner wall can be printed much faster because it won't show on the finished product, so I'm printing that at 300 millimeters per second. If you want, you can actually save this say, maybe calibrated. And these settings will save for whenever you want to use them. And that's it, we're finally done calibrating our filament. If you guys have any ideas on what content I should make next, please drop them in the comments down below. If this series has been helpful to you, please consider subscribing, it really helps support the channel, and as you know, it's completely free. I can't wait to make the next video, so see you then.